Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out on this Thursday morning with a scripture reading from Romans chapter 14, verse 13 through 23. Let us therefore no longer pass judgment on one another, but resolve instead never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of another. I know and am persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean in itself, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it unclean. If your brother or sister is being injured by what you eat, you are no longer walking in love. Do not let what you eat cause the ruin of one for whom Christ died. So do not let your good be spoken of as evil. For the kingdom of God is not food and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The one who thus serves Christ is acceptable to God and has human approval. Let us then pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. Do not for the sake of food destroy the work of God. Everything is indeed clean, but it is wrong for you to make others fall by what you eat. It is good not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything that makes your brother or sister stumble. The faith that you have have as your own conviction before God. Blessed are those who have no reason to condemn themselves because of what they approve. But those who have doubts are condemned if they eat, because they do not act from faith. For whatever does not proceed from faith is sin. And that is our scripture reading this morning. Please join me now for a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear God, at the start of each day, help us to recognize you above all else. Enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we might see you and notice how you are at work through our lives. Give us wisdom to make the best choices. Fill us with a desire to seek after you more than anything else in this world. Let your spirit and power breathe in us, through us, again, fresh and new. Thank you that your presence goes with us and that your joy is never dependent on our circumstances, but is our true and lasting strength, no matter what we are up against. We ask that your peace lead us, especially in these times that are consumed often by conflict, we ask for your grace to cover our lives in this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow morning as well. I hope you all have a good day today.